I haven't had a pair of curtains in my bedroom since I was 21. I took down those curtains. So now what happens is that I'm now more in tune with the earth, with the universe, with the sun and the moon. Every morning, my body starts to wake up naturally when the sun starts to come up. Let's just say the sun comes up at five o'clock, right? That unconsciously tells me that it's time to get up in two hours. So wrap up your sleep, boy. Enjoy the rest of your dream, but it's time to get up. So now, because my body has been waking up subconsciously for the past, say, you know, two hours, as soon as I open my eyes, I can get up immediately. Like somebody once said when I had a sleepover with them, they literally saw me open my eyes, turn on the TV and go on my phone. And they were like, how do you do that? Do they, how, do, how do you just open your eyes and eight, eight, eight hours sleep? and just like go on your phone and turn on the TV and continue what you're doing the night before. For example, if I was watching a YouTube documentary and I wanted to pause it because it was 12 o'clock, I'd pause it, it's 12 o'clock, I'd wake up and I'd just resume. As if, literally, I've just gone downstairs for a drink. I just resume. He couldn't believe it. And that's because having no curtains means that your body is waking up naturally, unconsciously, before you've even, before you've, you're even woken up. If you have curtains, as far as your brain knows, it is dark. As far as your brain knows, it's the middle of the night, it's 3 a.m. Not gonna bother dreaming or planning your day or anything because there's nothing to do, it's middle of the night. So now you've got, you know, people have curtains and the, the bedroom's dark. Yes, in terms of melatonin levels, you need to be in a dark room when you fall asleep. That is correct, otherwise your brain won't sleep which is also why you shouldn't go on your phone before bed and, you know, watch too bright TV. But the point is that if it's dark in the, at night time and it's dark at, say, 8 a.m. because your curtains are drawn, your body's going to sleep. Your body's going to think, well, it's the middle of the night, I'm going to sleep. So before you know it, if you've had a really stressful, drained day where you might need, say, 10 hours and you go to bed when it's dark, you might wake up 10 hours later, which actually ends up being, like, say, 10 p.m., sorry, 10 a.m. because the curtains have been drawn. So your, body, your brain thinks it's like middle of the night still, when actually, like the sun bloody rose five hours ago. So if you want to get your circadian rhythm reset, it's very simple. We don't have to do anything apart from just don't draw your blinds, don't draw your curtains, just you're already going to be sleeping when it's dark, right? But having no curtains means that when the sun rises, your body's going to start to wake up naturally. So when you actually wake up, you won't feel this need to lie in or keep sleeping because you would have been waking up for the, like the last two hours. What's happening is that people live in a, they sleep in a dark room. Their brain is in a deep midnight, 2 a.m. sleep. All of a sudden, after eight hours sleep, their alarm goes off. Their body's like, what the fuck is going on? It's the middle of the night. It's dark. Why are you waking me up for? And you want to snooze. You want to you wanna lie in. You don't want to get up. You're like a zombie. But what if you could pre pre prepare yourself in advance that you're going to be waking up in two hours? For example, if I was woke up at 7 a.m., because that's seven hours after I've gone to bed at 12, and the sun comes up at 5 a.m., I know that when the sun comes up at 5 a.m., subconsciously, that in two hours, 7 a.m., I'm going to be getting up. So now I can just literally get up and just continue what I was doing the day before. Literally, if I was painting, I get up, grab my paintbrush and continue. I have also found that, let's just say I, on the rare occasion I lie in, or the rare occasion I've had a very stressful day, and I sleep after nine hours, I wake up after nine hours, I find myself zombie-like. I find myself like I've adjusted to the sun, like just I'm just a zombie. I worked out something that if you take the average place in the universe... The average amount of uh, darkness, so if you average out, like, say, the places that have darkness for 15 hours of the day and only four hours of sunlight versus the place where you get, say, five hours of darkness and the rest is light. If you do the average, the average is out to eight hours, meaning eight hours is the average amount of sleep that we need. Less or more, doesn't matter. You'll make it up the day after, the day before, it'll all, it'll all add up. Your body's not going to know the difference between having, say, 6 hours and 50 minutes versus 7 hours and 20 minutes. It's all to do with the deep sleep, the quality of your sleep. It's all to do with the deepness of your sleep. You only need between 
like half an hour and, and one and a half hours of deep sleep. Doesn't matter whether you sleep for 10 hours. If you haven't had deep sleep, you could be sleeping all day. So I'm gonna do shit. Light sleep is where your brain goes into a certain frequency based on your heartbeat. All these Fitbits and Apple Watches, they monitor your sleep based on your heartbeat. So what does that mean? It means that, let's just say that your heartbeat is, your, let's just say when you're asleep, your heartbeat is 53 beats per minute. I could go into deep meditation and be in 53 beats per minute, but I'm awake and the Fitbit thinks I'm asleep. So it counts as light sleep. How's, how's the Fitbit supposed to know between 53 and 54 beats per minute, whether I'm asleep or not? It does it based on heartbeat. So if you are sleeping, but your heartbeat is just pounding and you're thinking and, and you're tossing and turning, you're asleep, but you're not asleep. However, you could still be asleep based on your heartbeat if you're just literally meditating and not doing anything. That's why people say if you meditate, you sleep less, and it's true. The more I meditate, because it's basically asleep, based on getting your heartbeat down to heart, uh, heartbeats per minute of what it would be if you were sleeping. If you can do that in meditation, you won't need to have as much sleep because you basically put your brain into that rest state that you get into when you meditate. So to conclude, don't go to sleep with the curtains drawn. Don't go to sleep with the blinds drawn. You want to sleep with nothing. You want that light to come into your room and wake you up unconsciously. You won't wake up when the sun, you know, if, if, if you need your sleep, you won't wake up just because the sun has just come up, right? It will wake your body up in advance so that when you wake up naturally after seven hours, you won't feel this zombie, I need caffeine to get me up. You could just get up and continue your day. So don't have any curtains and blinds you will wake up naturally unconsciously a couple of hours before you want to get up because the sun often you know in the summer will come up at say 5 a.m or whatever most people they'll wake up around say six or seven but you would have been woken up in advance unconsciously because you've had no curtains and the sun has come in if it was dark for your brain knows it's middle of the night keep sleeping and you'll end up doing nine hours which you didn't need it'll be a zombie it's just not necessary so remove your curtains, remove your blind and let the sun wake you up unconsciously in the morning and just see the difference of how less groggy you are when you wake up, how less dependent on caffeine you are when you wake up, how quickly and sharp you are to get out of bed when you don't have curtains versus when you did. You will see profound results, profound results of how quickly you can start your day when you haven't had curtains in your bedroom.